What's this? A letter for me. All right, welcome back to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Today I only have two envelopes that I got returned, so I will share those with you after I readjust the sign here. Uh, but I'm also going to kind of do a recap on some of the in-person autographs on those 5x7s that I got. Uh, since I shot my last video, I will post that video up here in the corner to uh, kind of share with you, you know, the uh, in-person 5x7s that I collected since I shot that last video. So, to further ado, I'm going to open the first envelope. And the first one has been returned by Mr. Mark Salas. And he signed two. I want to say that I probably sent him three and he kept one, which is totally cool. But one is on a minor league card and one is on a uh, major league card, a Yankees card. Um, currently, Mr. Salas is the bullpen catcher for the Chicago White Sox. Uh, he played a little bit of his career with the White Sox one season. Uh, in total he played for it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six teams. Uh, he was kind of like a backup catcher type of person. Uh, not really a huge star by any standard but he did have it looks like a eight year career in the majors so he hung around long enough to you know, work for eight years in the major leagues as a backup catcher. That's you could have worse jobs in this world. Let's just put it that way. And he still to this day is a catcher at the major league level in the bullpen for the Chicago White Sox. Um, I want to say I sent these way back in spring training. Uh, the stamp was a little bit different on my envelope than the other one that I got back. So. Took him a little time to get caught up on his mail, but that's totally cool. So happy to get a couple from Mr. Salas. Keep moving the sign around here. That's kind of getting annoying. Okay, the next one that I'm going to share with you is, it looks like four of four from Ken Obrechtfell, who is camera keeps moving around. I must have it on a different setting. Sorry about that. Uh, Ken Obrechtfell is the, uh, he currently is a coach in an independent league um, team in the St. Louis area. Their season probably is finished up by now. It's after Labor Day, so I would guess that it probably is. But Mr. Obrechtfell is a former Cardinal. Uh, he played for a number of teams, the Cardinals mainly, in his first part of his career. But he is actually from the St. Louis area, and I grew up minutes away from where he was, you know, where he lives or where he grew up. And uh, over his career, he played 16 years in the major leagues. 16. For one, two, three, four, five, six, six different teams. He spent eight years with the Cardinals. Uh, after that, he played for the Braves for five. Then he played for Pittsburgh for two. Houston for two. Then the Giants for a season. And the California Angels his final season. So, pretty cool that Mr. Obergefell returned those. Uh, he also falls in the category of he played from 1978 to 1992. So there are jillions of these cards out there. So if you have any Kenny Obrechtfels laying around, um, might recommend maybe you send a few his way. I mean, how often do you get a 16-year major league leaguer signing through the mail for you? That's all I have to say about that. He's, you know, a very good ball player or was a very good ball player and, uh, now he is a coach and passes his knowledge on to the uh, next generation of ball players. So, thank you, Mr. Oberg, Phil. Very appreciative to get those back in the mail from you. All right, so I mentioned this earlier in the video. Uh, I was going to kind of recap some of the in person minor league autographs that I got on my oversized 5x7 cards. Um, I will post that video 
up in the corner here. And you guys can check out that video with the other 5x7 autographs that I got in person and through the mail, you know, this past season. But to summarize, um, I'm going to show a few that you've already seen from that previous video, but I have a few extra autographs on them. You'll see what I mean when I show you. The first one is I completed the Talent Pipeline version of the Seattle Mariners by adding Mr. Kyle Lewis as the final one that I needed on there. And if you guys remember, I had Bishop and Pobsy already on there. So very cool to get that 5x7 finally finished in my collection. Now the other one that I showed before was the Dodgers one. And I did indeed get Johan Mises to finish his part of the card. And Yassel Sierra, as I mentioned, has not played this season, actually. Um, I don't know if he's going to play again, so it's going to be very difficult to try to finish this one up. Hopefully he comes back to the United States and plays again, and I get a chance to see him. But Mises in the middle here was traded uh, to the St. Louis Cardinals, and he spent um, this year between uh, high A and double A for the Cardinals. So I was able to get that card signed. So I have those two now on that card. Now keeping the tradition of the talent pipelines, I added a Ariel Urado to the collection. Uh, Ronald Guzman is up in the majors, so it's probably going to be pretty hard for me to get that signed. But uh, hopefully Leody Tavares I might be able to get next season if he's still with the Rangers. So very happy to get that one too. Uh, this one also was a major league call up and this is signed by Jesus Lazardo. I got this while he was in double A. Uh, the card also features AJ Puck and Paul Blackburn. Um, Blackburn was up with the big club this year. I don't know if he was up the whole season, but I know he's you know been up with the A's. Had a little blurry footage there, so I had to cut that. But uh, AJ Puck did not pitch this season. He actually is recovering from an injury. So maybe next season I'll get an opportunity to see him and maybe get him to sign this. And uh, Paul Blackburn, I don't know how I'm going to catch up to that guy. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe someday. Um, and finally rounding out the talent pipeline, I also have the Kansas City Royals version. And it's kind of hard to see, but Khalil Lee did sign that just in a really fine, camera's getting blurry, and a really fine point Sharpie, I guess. I guess that was a new Sharpie that I handed him. Because if you look next to it, the Foster Griffin, that's the same type of Sharpie, just more used. But uh, I was able to get Lee and Griffin in double A this year. Uh, Stalmont, I never had an opportunity to see, but uh, being I'm in somewhat proximity of Kansas City, you never know. I might have a chance to get Stalmont to sign that as well. All right, so a couple final ones. Um, I've shared these, you know, in my eBay pickups video, and I'll link that at the end if you want to check it out as well. But uh, I talked a little bit about these prospects, so if you want to, you know, hear a little bit more about them, uh, check out that video. And the first one is Hudson Potts on a five by seven. And it is numbered to 10. Kind of hard to see. But uh, I got Hudson to sign this in double A when he got here a couple months ago. And uh, when I handed this to him, he had never seen it before. He's like, I've never seen one of those before. And he gave me a nice, huge, big signature on the card there. So very happy to get that one signed. Thank you, Hudson. Uh, along the same lines, I also saw... Mr. Forrest Whitley in double A. And same thing, this is serial numbered to 10. So I was able to get Forrest to get this 5x7 sign for me as well. So very happy to get Forrest to sign that. Uh, he had uh, some injury issues this past season, so hopefully he can uh, bounce back and uh, come back strong for uh, 2019. Maybe be part of the Astros' future plans, you just never know. He also had to uh, go through a suspension, I believe, this past season. So he lost about two or three months to that as well. So thank you, Forrest. 
very happy to add that to the collection as well. And finally, I got one more rehabber, and I happen to be at the one game that he rehabbed, and that is a Colton Wong 5x7. So, very happy to get that back. Um, in closing, thank you for viewing my channel. Um, I hope you enjoy some of these oversized 5x7 autographs. I really like collecting them. Very fun. Got kind of a glare there, so we'll turn that off for a second. But uh, very happy to add the 5x7s to the collection, as well as the two TTMs that I shared with you. Um, Obergfell and Salas. So glad you uh, stayed with me and listened to me uh, show off some of some of the nice autographs I picked up this past season. Look forward to seeing your comments below and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks. <laughs>